Welcome to the English Mystic Podcast. It's a beautiful sunny day here in England and, and our guest, who is our guest? Well, she loves all things galactic, art, energy, fairy, dragon and magical. And she's been on this healing journey for quite a few years now since she started painting. And some of you probably already know who she is because you've guessed. Anyway, she, through this process, she has discovered her guest as a channeler of divine wisdom. And she's an intuitive painter. And we're going to see some of her art soon. And it's quite amazing. And she channels soul language as well. Activation codes and uses her voice, drumming, movement of painting. She also taps into the Akashic field. It can assist others with a deep connection to themselves and can't stop not talking about the dragons but she she started in 2019 so she's been doing this for a while our guest today is dina dina welcome to the podcast thank you thank you thank you thanks for having me good, good to see, see you, you. Again. good <laughs> yes, to see you again and i always yeah. I always love your energy you're so full of it it's amazing yeah, thank you <laughs> and all okay. your beautiful pictures look at them all do you, want to, do you want to give us a quick description of what any of those are? That, that one behind you is just so beautiful, the purple and pinks. And... Oh, yeah. This one has been quite a journey. I've been, like, connecting with these dragons and goddess energy. And there's all these, like, pods that keep coming through. But there's, like, there's, like, merging of the dragon and the human mm. over here. And there's this other energy of like, I feel like my higher self, it's like a journey of like the higher self and the, and the coming together. And, and then there's like more like creation codes coming in. I mean, it was total, it was a total painting of like letting go. I'm still in the process of decoding it, but, um, there's like more dragons coming through some like water energy. This is a portal, and it's like I feel like talking about like we are the portal. Yeah, yeah. And we're like going through, uh, like a multi-dimensional journey. I feel like there's a lot of things that kind of started to emerge. Like that, there's a person and a dragon, and they're kind of like, like where does one end and where does one mm. start? So Beautiful. there's that. And then I love painting circles. Those are like kind of portal paintings, but that one's like a blue rose portal. Yeah. That one, I really don't know what I was doing there, but there's a, <laughs> there isn't, I'm just kidding. Just um, channeling. <laughs> yeah, um, that was a dragon eye. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. this one is a dragon too. Um, it's somewhere in there. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the dragons, they kind of, because they come, they come through me, you know? And then sometimes the paintings, I think I'm going to paint one thing and two. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where, where in this world are you on this planet Earth? I am in Latham, New York, which is uh -huh. near uh, Saratoga Springs. Mm -hmm. It's in upstate New York. It's about two and a half hours north of New York City. All right. Okay. So not actually in the main city. And is that no. quite, quite a rural area? Or? No, it's very, I'm in a very suburban area. Yeah. And a lot of strip malls, uh, and you know, like nice, like areas, towns. There's a lot. Of, there's um, not far from Saratoga Springs, which is a very uh, spiritual, very cultural place, mm -hmm. uh, where they have the the healing springs that Roosevelt right. go to back in the his time. <laughs> and so Saratoga, Saratoga Springs is very known for their waters and mm. a lot of there's a lot of healing people up here right. out of yeah so. cool so can you share about your journey with art which it all looks amazing and how it has helped you personally and professionally yes yeah, so I feel that it's helped me with a number of things. One, and it has been helping me ground mm -hmm. and find confidence 
and find myself, connect with myself on the soul level. And on the professional level, it's helped me, A, get to know, like, what am I here for? And how I can be a source of empowerment and inspiration and inspire myself. But it's also been on the, it's like, it's kind of all one in a way, because I get to be free in the art where I can be free to make mistakes and trust myself and build a confidence to trust myself and trust my intuition. And then that carries over into the professional because I can borrow that confidence Mm -hmm. into where I'm not feeling as confident. Right. And so it's kind of, and also like I've had like some, you know, traumatic, you know, wounding, you know, perspective shifts and the artist helped me alchemize. It's helped me shift my perspectives. Uh, well, mainly because of the dragons too. They've really helped with perspective shifting, I'll tell you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and so it's been this process of alchemy, this process of looking at things from a different lens and being able to release and allow the expression to show me what is wanting to come up to be seen so that I can work through it. Mm, beautiful. And it's, you're also a, you're a creator, an artist, a healer, and you channel dragons. It's quite a lot, quite a lot. It's good. So could you elaborate for the audience on how these aspects all intertwine in your life and, and, and work and everything? Yeah, so great question. I so you know, I do work a full time job during the day. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like, you know, just being able to let me hear that question again. It's like I feel like it's like the different aspects of me come out when they need to, you know. So like I could have in my art, for example, in the art, in the creation of the art. I allow the dragons to come and my inner dragon to come through and guide me into the painting. And then the codes come through, the intention comes through, and then I can show that and allow others to like have their own, receive what they're meant to receive, whether it be mm-hmm. like the codes. Um, and, and so there's all these codes and healing intentions that's put in the art. Now, at the same time, like I've shared things with coworkers that have helped them. So, and then and in sessions, I guide people to paint their own paintings. Oh, wow. or yep. I offer, yeah, or I do it when I do a painting for them mm-hmm. as part of the channeling experience. So, yeah. I have a number of different offerings, and I do offer intuitive art classes that teach people how they can connect with themselves and they can the activation codes and healing frequencies that come through me assist them with those items those you know you know what i mean it's kind of like what needs to come through me comes through me at the at the appropriate times (laughs) (laughs) it's one of those things that's probably hard to explain isn't it because it's almost don't know yourself it just it just comes in and you channel it through yeah exactly and so like for example like i had this experience with a friend at work where she was having something challenging going on and i just said you know um i feel like everything is gonna work out i just are you Mm -hmm. open to the possibility of everything open out and me just sending some frequencies for that and and I saw the outcome of a resolution. And then she messaged me. She's like, I don't know what you did, Dina. <laughs> she's like, I don't know what you did, Dina, but like we got there and everything was resolved. Like, <laughs> I don't even know exactly what I did. I just asked for like assistance for her and it just like the timeline shifted yeah and uh i asked the dragons for assistance so it all kind of weaves together and uh somehow it just weaves together 
No. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it, it mm -hmm. makes sense. And, and when it's weaving together, um, what what's your sort of process for it? How, how would you start? So if, if I was to come to you and, and I'd say, okay, so you're an activation artist, what, how are you going to channel that achievement for me? What, okay. To explain so that's that. Really great. Yeah, thank you. So one of my processes is to do a, a guided meditation. All right, yeah, beautiful. And where I will take you into a space where um, there's your dragons are there. Mm. It's kind of like a shamanic experience, yeah. but I don't call myself a shaman. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but it's like a guy channel the, I channel the whole guided imagery. And then once you're in this space where you're like in a, maybe you're in a cave or maybe you're in a temple space, whatever is appropriate for mm. you at that time, I will then channel with light language and English the frequencies that are benefiting you. And then, um, and then, yeah, it just kind of goes from there. Like everything is, is channeled, but you're also receiving your own. So like, I'll take you into a space where you will maybe be like in a sacred pool of water and, and then being open to receiving any messages directly from the beings that are with you, like say your dragons might have a special message for you at that time. So it all kind of gets woven in where I will sing light language. I will, um, sometimes in some of my sessions, I might do a painting for you. And then the, the frequencies that I'm channeling will go into the painting. So then, and then I'll ship you the painting. I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. So then when you're looking at the painting, it's like, the consciousness and the frequencies that were channeled through are on the painting that you can reflect on and it can mm. then work with you. It's kind of, mm. kind of right. wild. Uh, it all makes sense because when the dragons came from, through to me and, and I, I channeled the dragon runes and there's 27 runes and the, the runes are fairly simple but they they also channeled some art through me um, and I used AI to, to do it and using commands and, and it's the same thing they, they say that the activation is you look at the art and it's got a certain frequency that does they could really explain it but <laughs> it there's the, the the image and the energy and the rest of it and, and you will feel it and everyone feels it differently so yeah your your exactly. art is like that that's beautiful isn't it thank you <sighs> yeah and that's the thing like a lot of the codes are not like obvious right like like for like this one yeah it's very, you know, it's like, you know, these swirly things kind of come together. And like to one person, it just looks like a whole series of swirls. Mm -hmm. And to another person, they like, they can feel the swirls, they can feel the frequencies. So mm -hmm. it's, I don't know how. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, I feel like it's a very, it's kind of like, a technology of light that mm. works and it just kind of like trusting that it that it for those who are meant to receive it 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 makes sense like not makes sense but like it resonates you know yeah and, it, it's on a it's on a level that you can't really articulate and it's it's on yeah it, because it's it's sensory i mean the, the thing that i i like the sound of is the light language piece i mean that with the art makes complete sense to me and and then i suppose the light language is almost encoded in the imagery and, and if you're going in a meditation process with you and you've had all that in your mind in your memory when, when you then receive the physical piece and it's on the wall and you 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 you're you pull back to that moment, aren't you? And you, you can hear your light language, you can feel the energy. Yeah, it's beautiful that a picture can capture all of that. And that's why sometimes it, it, it looks maybe confusing to some people because <laughs> it's nonsensical almost. Uh, but yeah, it's gorgeous. I'm um, talking about light language. Uh, first of all, what is it? Can you explain it so somebody goes, what's light language? And how, how do you channel it? Where, where does it feel like it comes from? 
Okay, so the my my definition of light language, I feel like we have we're all made of light. We all have ancient, you know, aspects of us. So we're all multidimensional beings. So what I feel the light language is 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 like a, a a frequency of communication that's from the heart, that is beyond time, that we can communicate with to transmit, use for healing, use for so many different ways of bringing through information, you know, communication that's very heart based. So. It's so beyond, you know, like the way that I like to explain it is like if you were to want to commute something, communicate something that you can't find the words for, but they're so deep in your heart and your intention is of pure, you know, love, that would be the language that is of light that you're mm -hmm. communicating. And yeah. it doesn't have to be in la curia kati is the curia nakati. It doesn't have to be like the way that some people speak it, where it sounds like another language altogether. As long as it's coming from the heart space, you know. Um, so it can have pockets of information, like that has a lot. You know what I mean? So in a way we're all communicating light language at some point of our life, whether we know it or not. Mm. Does that help explain it? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's, it's, again, it's a bit like the art, isn't it? It's, it's so multidimensional that yeah, if, if someone speaks to you in English, you, okay, I get what you're saying, but then, then the light language comes through and it, and it hits you at so many different levels, doesn't it? It's the yeah. cadence, the words. Some some people understand the words are almost going, ah, oh, that in English it means this. But sometimes there's there's so many levels to it that you can't translate it, but you, you feel it in your system, don't you? The words exactly. mean something to your soul, exactly. maybe. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like I mean for me, like a lot of it is like someone introduced me to the concept of soul language. Mm. The soul language, it's like we it's the frequencies and the dialects that are part of our soul history are yeah. like, you know, from the time that we were conceived, we have lived all these lives, we're living all these lives and there are certain frequencies and, and dialects that, you know, come from, you know, our Lyran life, our Palladian life, our angelic life. And we can, when activated, we can, we can allow that to come through us yeah. and whether it be speech and for me um it started out really in the art and then writing and then i would have like a guided i had like i received some healing like i think it was like iet or yeah like i think it was like iet or reiki and i went to a light language event and then I went to another healing event. Like, so as I was receiving all these healings, I was being surrounded with other people speaking light language. Mm -hmm. And somehow in those experiences, it started to come through me. And I don't know at which point was I really activated. All I know is that one day I came home from a healing session and I was like, like doing this thing with my hands where I was like, what is going on? Like, <laughs> and, and I was just like, it was like, oh my God. And so, yeah. So the, the frequencies, the energy was moving through my body in like a dance. Mm -hmm. And so then I started to, and then the universe brought me other people and I'm like, what is this? And they're like, no, oh, that's, that's light codes. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. and so, it's been this really wild journey of people popping into my life to like show me like, oh yeah, yeah, and <laughs> you're doing this and that's light codes and that's light language and oh, Dina, you're an activator. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> so like, the thing is that I feel like it's all energy and we're all energy and like my energy can 
positively impact your energy and like what's in your DNA. Like you can be someone that speaks light language in a certain way. And if I meant to be the one to assist with, with lighting that up, sparking yeah. that up, that's what would happen. And yeah. <laughs> it just, it's like, Oh, okay. <laughs> and you might not even remember that it was me that spoke light language to you on a certain day. It could just, be one day that like you're all of a sudden feeling called to express light language in some kind of way and yeah, yeah anyway and, and when <laughs> when the light language comes in is it do you do you, where do you feel like it come from does it come from your heart does it come from your soul where, where does it feel like it come from <sighs> like for me i feel like it's so intertwined with me yeah. that i feel like it definitely comes from my heart Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like the heart and soul are very connected because I feel like the soul is one with your heart. Am I not right? Like they're mm -hmm. kind of intertwined. And uh, I feel like it's like this, this like something in me just wants to like, and sometimes I get like a tickle in my throat. Uh, sometimes I just like, I can't help myself but just be like, um, and it, I think because I've been doing it for so long that it just like pours out. <laughs> yeah. But to answer your question, I feel like it comes from my heart. Yeah, that's beautiful. Cool. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> And one of the things I read was you're described as a channel of primal force energy. What, what, what is it? And how do you navigate that? And how do you pull that in and share that? I feel like that's the dragons. Right. I, think, okay. I feel that when I say primal force energy, that's really the dragon energy. Yeah. That's what I mean. Um, and I feel like, I, I don't even remember writing that to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like that has to do when like I'm dancing, mm -hmm. it's like that, that like Kundalini energy that just wants to come through. And so when I allow myself to like also paint, it's like, it's coming through that when I connect with, you know, the mother of all creation she she works through me in the art mm. and uh so funny i'm i'm literally feeling like heat and uh so i don't know how it all works but i know that there's like it's this it's like this i got to do this right now like right. it's got to come through right now and i don't fight it i just allow it but like sometimes a lot of times it's certain things prompt me um to like suddenly paint and and that's when i it usually comes through or when i feel like i have to dance mm -hmm. and that has that's usually how it comes through and then i used to videotape myself dancing <laughs> to share <laughs> oh you need to share one of those <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm going to get back to that actually. Thank you. But I haven't, I haven't been doing that for a while. Like I've been more private in like my painting process of just yeah. painting and letting it come through. Uh, but it, it shows up in certain, it shows up more in the dragon paintings. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, and you were on another podcast, the Divine Feminine Warrior podcast, and uh, on that it was talking about a deep connection to nature and the Divine Feminine. So how, how's that connection to the Divine Feminine and nature shaped your you and your journey? Oh, wow. Well, I feel like when I'm in nature, like, I feel very free, like... Mm. And the Divine Feminine podcast really launched a lot for me. Um, the host, Jennifer, she's also a mentor for me. She's also a collaborator for me. Um, it's like being able to connect with Mother Gaia, Mother, like Mother of all creation. And like literally when I went to a park, like I had like really magical interactions there yeah. where like I can sense 
fairies and dragons and the other aspects of me, like kind of um, the divine feminine aspects of me just kind of come through where I can just be in flow, you know? Yeah. And like I'll just come out in the in in nature and I'll just be singing in light language and I'll be like dancing like I'm a, it's like suddenly I'm like this fairy <laughs> in the park like I don't even care about like like I I'll interact with people in the park but I'm, I'm mainly like in there and I'll be like singing to the I'll be like singing to the trees and and all there is there and the water and so it's just kind of I feel like the divine feminine is like really also about the flow mm -hmm. and the connection with all that is and and the creation and I feel like when I'm connecting with nature I'm connecting with the mother I'm connecting with the dragons I'm connecting with the the trees and it just it it sparks something in me and then i go home and i'm like whoa okay i gotta paint now like <laughs> yeah it just i don't even know how to describe it but it's um it's very healing i feel to to be out in nature and just mm. commune with all there is yeah. and i feel the, the um, allowance to connect with the divine feminine is to connect with the part of you that can just be and and allow things to move through you mm. it's beautiful yeah i agree with nat nature i always say nature feeds my soul definitely I, I i make sure that every friday i go for a walk on dartmoor and and it's just I just if I don't if I, if I miss it I'm like oh out of my connection grounding. and it's grounding too you know oh, yeah. it's, it's so grounding but yeah I mean I would I would love to go be in nature more than I currently am to be honest with you and now that it's spring it's like yay yeah, <laughs> definitely it makes it much nicer when it's sunny out and it's more inviting exactly. <laughs> sure. exactly. then I was reading about a book called yeah. Hayden's Way Dragon Art and that caught my eye. Could you share with us about that collaboration and uh, you know, what, what was all oh, about? Yeah. Okay, so, so how do we start with this one? Okay, so I was starting to, I met Misty who created Hayden's Ray before Hayden's Ray actually started. Yeah. So I was a, um, I was talking, I was already collaborating on the book and another book when I met Misty mm -hmm. and Misty's son passed away in June of that year when her son Hayden, who, um, when we were working on a book, uh, called my two cents on self love. Mm -hmm. So, once she created that book, she invited me to do a journal. And and so that journal was to be a fundraiser for Hayden's Ray. And so I hadn't really met Hayden, but like I knew that like um I knew about him because Misty had told me through the process of she was helping Rochelle and I with our book. Mm -hmm. And then I saw that she was doing the um my two cents on self-love so i was like okay let me let me do that and we she, she offered me an opportunity to create the journal uh to be a fundraising item to support mm -hmm. the organization which is really it's a safe haven for people to come to and receive healing receive space do detoxing receive energy from her receive healing from her she helps people with you know rating quantum rating and classes it's just a really beautiful organization that like it's it's talked about in the in the journal mm -hmm. and so that journal uh the artwork has like reiki on it dragon reiki and dragons and healing so i felt like it was a good painting to use for the cover of that journal but it's all the proceeds of that journal go to Hayden's Ray. 
nice. makes it so people can go to her space and and stay there and and have like a, a respite uh, receive some healing and receive some time that they need for for grief and so many different things beautiful yeah we'll definitely make sure we share all that in the show notes it sounds gorgeous mm. and then dragons we keep talking about dragons and talk about dragon reiki is there any dragon that wants to come through are there any messages that your dragons oh, yeah. would like to share with us okay let me tune in um oh, oh interesting okay so so there um i'm feeling this connection about the nurturing of self um i'm gonna allow it to come through through light language and this will be like a transmission for kind of like an attunement to connect with the soul. Is that okay? I like you. Perfect. Okay. Asa yu shi ai kai a shoku yi kai a lai yu ya kai a shoku ya yu yi sai a ku yi se ki a lai ya a ya ku si ya u ku ki a kata ya shou yi a kati u ku ra ya kati ya se yi a tai Sing your song, sing your song, sing your song. Allow your own frequency to come through. Sing from your heart, sing from your heart. Allow yourself to shine. Beautiful. Sing from your heart. Allow yourself to shine. I love that. That's gorgeous. We all need that, don't we? We all need to say, let go and just be your true self. Yeah, I'm getting a little. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, that was my uh, that was my magenta dragon. Anyway, yeah, I just feel like. It's there's a, a a call to allow ourselves to shine. I feel like we've all many of us have had to hide, hide our true light. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that anymore. We can find pockets, go out in nature and sing to the trees mm -hmm. and um, express our voice because the world needs our voice. The world needs everyone to come on board and shine their light and be their true self. No need for comparison because we all have our own our own puzzle piece to be, you know, in the bigger picture. So I feel like uh, they're really calling us to to really allow ourselves to sing, like really like don't worry about how you sound. Just do it. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> because I definitely, I definitely am not a trained singer. And, you know, so I just allow it to come through for the higher good of all. But yeah. And I wish that I would have, um, um, well, you can see in the show, in the, in the notes of the book, it describes what Hayden's Ray is all about. But Missy, is a beautiful soul and she cared for this son um his whole life and he is a magical being and like it's just it she takes grief and turns it into something magical and beautiful that uh and I'm just so grateful that I got to, to, I'm going to make more journals, but I want to do more. And so I'd love to know like what journal prompts to put in there. I'm going to collaborate on another dragon um, journal with prompts, I feel. So I'm totally open to suggestions for prompts. 
in the next one. Put it out there. Come on, people. Give us some props. <laughs> Give us some props. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So there'll be a, there'll be another one. Um, on and there'll be other ones because um, I think journals are great. You know, I think in automatic rating is a great tool to help connect. Sometimes that's how my dragons communicate through me is through rating too. Mm. So. Beautiful. So what are you working on currently that you want to share with us? Well, um, I have, we just released the book on um, the journey of transformation. Wow. The, through the art of words and codes. And Beautiful. we're working on creating an in-person event, um, mm -hmm. at least one. And the next one will be in, um, the upcoming one will be in Toronto, Canada wow. on June 8th. So um, I would love to see some of my dragon friends there. Um, so this has 14 of my paintings with channel messages from Rochelle and, um, and Lake Code Transmissions from Lily Lee. And so it's a, it's a book to assist others with transformation um, with light codes and art and um, empowering words. So we're working on an in-person event for this. That sounds and exciting. Yeah. And where's, and where's that book? Is it all, is it on Amazon? This is on Amazon. I actually hey. have an author page now. Yay. Um, and I'll just show you one. I'll just open it up. So there's like one of my paintings and one of the channel messages. Beautiful. It's the kind of book that like, you open it up and you you read the channel message and you gaze on the painting and you allow it to like mm. work with your energy and um, so yeah so this is on Amazon um, the journey of transformation through the art of words and codes and if you look at my author page Dina Fortune you'll see uh, the the journal. And the two other books that I was in with Missy Lee. So I was in, um, I wrote a chapter and mind you, I, writing is not my strongest form of communication. Anyway, so I, I was also in that book. So I wanted to just support um, Hayden's Ray and the people that go there. And that's why I did the journal. So um what was the other questions? Yeah, what else am I working on? Um, I've been working on these dragon, higher self dragon paintings. Ooh. And I'll just show you one of them. This one looks more like a dolphin, funny enough. But I have these personalized dragon paintings mm -hmm. that I've been offering. And uh, I have an offering that is with... Um, activations and attunements with dragons that comes with a personal dragon painting so i have that offering that i told you about and so i really love assisting others with connecting with their dragons and i and i do that through the art and the um the sessions and channeling through like bringing through their dragons into a painting so that they can have some kind of you know visual representation and then there's like codes in there and mm. and the sessions um include you know some akashic record reading some you know guided um meditation you know like a guided journey and then i bring through the light codes and i bring through you know whatever clearing or activations attunements are in their highest good at that time to help them on the dragon journey and their creative journey with the dragons. It's really, you know, it's it's about also creativity and mm -hmm. what are they what are they bringing? How are they connecting with their their dragons? And and I feel like I'm sure you agree that dragons are well. The, a lot of the dragons that I work with are really about healing and creativity. Yeah. And and, and are you doing that in person or over Zoom or or? Well, this week, this coming weekend, okay, so the dragon, um, the dragon paintings, um, the offering that I was just mentioning, that is via Zoom. Mm -hmm. And I'm offering a discounted price uh, up until at least the end of May. 
Uh, usually it's three hundred and thirty-three, but I'm offering it for two hundred and twenty-two with that that package. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be offering in-person dragon events, you know, locally to me. Mm -hmm. uh, next weekend, I'm going to be setting up a table, and I'm going to be doing uh, personal, um, small personal paintings for those that come to my table uh, for like. Um, a, a lower price, you know, like a promotional price. So if any of you are in Saratoga area and you want to come see me, I'll be at the High Rock um, garage area on Saturday and then on Sunday outside of the um, Saratoga Expo, I'll be having a booth there. Um, so that's what I got working on. And then um, working on an introductory dragon class that I'm collaborating with my soul sister, Jen Marie Cliff, mm -hmm. that will have that introductory dragon class coming out in in the next couple of months. <laughs> mm. So busy, 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 you know? <laughs> cool. Yeah, and then you're on, on this podcast, and then we've also got you on the Dragon Thunder, haven't we, as well, as, as a, which would be beautiful. Yes. Jen will be 42. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have Jen on that because we'll be able to talk about our, our dragon class more by then. Yeah, that'd be perfect. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I love being on the um the Dragon Summit last year. Hopefully, maybe the following year I can be on it live. <laughs> Put then, it out there. You will be live. I you know what? For the third one, I will be live. And I also wanted to mentioned that you know we have our dragon um bringing the dragons home facebook group is which has now grown i think up to 900 people and i think it's because of your group like a lot of the people that are in dragon thunder have found their way to my smaller group <laughs> that's good that's what we want and yeah, I love that. And um, so it's it's great because people that are in my group, you know, the, I don't want to say my group, but they're bringing the Dragons Home group. They can also be in your mm -hmm. Dragon Center and get what they need from from both. And uh, exactly. so that's really helped. And I'm just trying to um, uh Yeah, so that's really, that was a, that's been a blessing too that, uh, you know, you really, um, have empowered me to like put myself out there, you know, and uh, we're going to be doing more ceremonies, but more like around the, you know, solstices instead mm -hmm. of every month. Yeah. And I do plan on starting to teach how to paint your dragons. Ooh, that sounds cool. Yeah. So I do, that's something that I'm working on putting out there more i've done it here and there and i want to do it more and mm -hmm. so yeah so that's pretty much all i can think to share that i'm working on right now <laughs> <laughs> that's cool oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll share your link tree i'll share all these links and and, and your, your beautiful discount as well um and, and if people do want to contact you what, what is the best way you know um i feel through facebook messenger mm -hmm. On yeah. Facebook Messenger or through my email, Dina at solidina dot com, uh, and on my link tree, there's a link for my Calendly link for a get to know you call. Yeah. So that's a complimentary phone call that they can schedule to have a conversation with me. So really, through the link tree. You got all my all my stuff. <laughs> Perfect. And we'll share all that in the show notes. And is there anything else you'd like to share? Hmm. Um I think um oh yeah. So I also have um my art on a cover of a magazine, Helpful Living. Um, and yeah, and then, oh, by my Fine Art America, I have my Fine Art America page, which is Fine Art America, Dina Ziskin Fortune, where um, a lot of my art is available on there. Um, 
like in or they can be made into a t-shirt and, and other items yeah so cool. this is my dragon initiation painting so i have art um that is available and i offer commission artwork and um i'm just really really grateful that uh, I get to be here and then I got to be on your podcast and grateful for the connection to meet you and all those that I can connect with and be of service to. Beautiful. Dina, it's been amazing having you on the podcast. Thank you very much. And I'm, I'm sure we're going to have you back with one of your collaborators, I've, I think, in, in the future. Yes, um, yes. We're going to line that up. I'd love for you. I'm excited for you to meet Jen. Um, and uh, she's she's a gem. She's a gem. And uh, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for having me on and all that you do. I'm very excited to take your class, too, because I feel like I have a lot to learn from you. So Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you.